Hey guys, Jonathan was out here for Jam Sports Hunter and the Jam Sports Show. How is it going? I am here to preview the action for week 5 in the 2015 NFL season. In this video, we are going to take a look at the matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. The Buffalo Bills come into this game 2-2 two and 1-0 two and and oh on the road. The Tennessee Titans come into this game 1-2 and, and they are 0-1 oh at home. This game right here is very interesting to me because you've got Tennessee who is coming off of a bye and you've got Buffalo who, let's just be honest, I'm not ready to say it's not working yet, but I think we are starting to see what we thought we would see out of Buffalo. You know, Buffalo came out strong. Uh, Rex Ryan came out with his team looking good. And everyone's like, whoa, maybe maybe this is going to work. I think we're starting to see uh, a Rex Ryan team become what Rex Ryan's teams become. And and that is a, a, a an over-penalized... Uh, at times too aggressive, a little overconfident football team, and, and that's what you've got. And meanwhile, so you've got this Buffalo Bills team who is reeling a little bit, and they are facing a Tennessee team that is coming off a bye, is getting healthy, and uh, is expected to have some some big pieces back, such as uh, Chance Warmack, um, Sammy Hill, James McCourty. Uh, it'll be McCourty's uh, debut this season, but Chance Warmack is expected to be back, potentially Sammy Hill. And this Tennessee Titans defense has not been a slouch. They are towards the top. They rank towards the top of the league. This Tennessee defense has been really good. Um, I like Tennessee. I do. I think they've got a lot of talent on that team. I think, at least to this point, Marcus Mariota's transition from the college game to the NFL game has been pretty smooth and, and pretty well done. And meanwhile, you look at Buffalo, like I said, and, and Tennessee's getting healthy. Buffalo is going the other way. Buffalo, I don't expect them to have much of a running game uh, this weekend because they're not going to have LaShawn McCoy again and probably won't for a few more weeks. Their leading rusher, Carlos Williams, is out with a concussion, so they're not going to have him. And basically, to beat Tennessee, that's what you've got to do. You've got to run the football. They're not not—they're stopping the run fairly well, but they're stopping the uh, passing game even better. And Tyrod Taylor, although he's been good, has, has shown... Uh, struggles in when when Buffalo's in tight spots. He's got four interceptions in, in Buffalo's two losses this year. To me, uh, and I'm a little nervous to do this because normally if something sees, seems too obvious, it usually is either way. I'm calling for, I guess you can call it an upset here. Uh, I don't think Buffalo can go into Tennessee and do it on the road and, and move the ball all that well against that Titans defense. Now, I don't know that Marcus Mariota is going to have the best day in the world because the Bills have a real defense, but here's the thing. Buffalo needs to settle down. They are a highly penalized team, as most Rex Ryan teams are, but it, it's not going to help them. Obviously, it hasn't helped them yet, and even Rex Ryan admits we make too many mistakes, we have too many penalties, but to be honest, Rex Ryan's not going to change who he is, I don't think he's going to change the culture the way the football team is, so I don't think the penalties are going to stop. I, in an upset, if you want to call it that, have the Tennessee Titans beating the Buffalo Bills on Sunday. We are coming off of a week last week that saw us go 11-4, and we are 0-1 on the week this week. We had Houston beating Indy last night. The only reason I called for that was Indy on the road on a short week. No Andrew Luck. Matt Hasselbeck had been extremely sick throughout the week and missed most of the practice. Houston made a game of it, but uh, really shot themselves in the foot with penalties, and that came back to cost them in their 27 20 loss to Indy. So with all that, we are 37 and 27 on the year. 806, 472, and 3 is our lifetime record. Don't forget to like the Jam Sports Show page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links as always are down in the description. And that is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan Mosep for Jam Sports 100 and the Jam Sports Show. This has been a preview for Sunday's matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. And I will see you guys later.